Hey guys, I don't know if you can tell, but that lump behind me is a dormant volcano. So it erupted, I think it said 180,000 years ago. There's several here. Actually, if you look down, you can tell I'm actually standing on it. There's solid magma all around me, solid lava. There's actually a piece right here in my hand. So the way this was formed was if you look behind me, you can see the Sandia Mountains there. They're a little bit obscured because there's a forest fire in Tucson and that is affecting the visibility here in Albuquerque. So it's the smoke has come 200 miles to obscure our view and it wasn't here yesterday, but we'll deal with it. So those mountains are moving away and then there's mountains on the other side. So those mountains are moving east. They are to my east. There's other mountains the other way behind the camera that are moving west. And in the crack that formed is where I'm standing. So Albuquerque, the city, is over there. It's in the bottom of the crack where the Rio Grande River is. And then as the two plates moved apart, they uh, created a rupture and a seam. And that's where these volcanoes formed. So as picture two pieces of ice moving apart, the water comes up in between them. That's basically what was happening here. So, but instead of water, it's magma. So I'm standing on a volcano. There's one there over my shoulder. And uh, hopefully they don't erupt while we're walking here. But uh, it's pretty cool to see, to actually standing on a volcano, holding a piece of ancient lava. Something you don't get in the East Coast. So lots of things that are different here. Pretty cool, that's why we're coming out here. So we'll see you next time. That's a big volcano right there, dormant. You can see the family there. And to the left, you can see a bit of excavated lava. That's probably what is below my feet right now. A little bit of dust on top as well. All very pretty. And to the right, we have Albuquerque with the Sandia Mountains in the background, covered in smoke from a fire near Tucson. Such as like out here in the southwest. A couple of big lava bombs right there. Pretty cool, slightly intimidating. So as a family, we've discussed this. And it seems that this is one side of the cauldron. Here's the middle. Here's the other side. So it seems that where I'm standing right now is in the middle of the explosion, which would have formed a crater, one side being that, and the other side being that, and I am right in the middle. So this is where the explosion would happen and left the big hole where I'm standing. So good thing I wasn't here 180,000 years ago. Pretty cool.
Yep, having walked through it, you can totally tell that it's a circle because there's rocks that join right here at the bottom. They come across and they join this slope. That makes that part of the circle around on the top where we came in and then the other side over here. So that makes the circle where the little path goes through is the center there. Would have been the center of the crater and the explosion back in the day. I don't know if you can hear that bug noise. The cicadas out here are pretty vicious. Not that they bite, but they're loud. You hear that? Try and get a better one for you. Grasshopper? I think it's a grasshopper. Sure you can hear that, it's coming from everywhere. Can you get more to the ground? Like put the pole down? Because I think it would be funny if we could get it to run away. He's so curious about us. Should we let him go? Yep. Let's see if we can get him to move. Can you start recording? Yep. Here he <laughs> They're so quick. They're so quick. So that was Petroglyphs National Monument and the volcanoes that are on this side of it. It was uh, 3.1 miles for an hour and 50 minutes, about a 35 minute pace. So we were a bit of mall walking and tourists, but that's okay because these things are cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.